Good afternoon, YouTube. This is your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back. I'm back. I'm back. Just kidding. Guys, I hope each and every one of you guys is having a wonderful and blessed, wonderful day today. It is cold outside, man. Um, for those of you here who have not been out there today, don't go out there, man. It's not even worth it. Well, guys, as you know, um, whenever I make a video now and I upload it, I always put in the title. Um, you guys have ideas you want to come up with, um, drop me a comment and I will vlog about it. Um, as you know, I'm not, you know, I don't do a lot of pranks and stuff. I'm an older man, so I can't be really doing all into that, you know, doing all that stuff. You know, I got to save myself for Miss Wright. For when, for, when, for when, when Miss Wright come along, that way I'm not all broken up in little pieces and broken legs and elbows and, you know, I can't handle my business. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, guys, I've been doing vlogs lately, guys, about stuff that people want me to do on my channel. Special vlogs for them. And, um, ooh, I got somebody pulling up. I will be right back in a minute. Hold that thought. Don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to step out for a minute. Anyway, guys, this video right here, uh, let's see, this young man, his name is Quan. Um, I hope everything's going good for you, Quan. And uh, this is one of those vlogs right here that really puts a really bad pit in my stomach when I get a request like this. Um, I don't know you very well, Quan. But you are a Facebook friend of mine, and you will also comment in every video that I make. Looking at your profile picture, you look very, very young. And you requested that I do a vlog on why do men hit women when they get mad? Hmm. Well, Quan, let me just start by saying I hope that you're not seeing this firsthand at home, at school, or in the workplace. I hope that you're not actually witnessing this going on, especially um, if it's someone that you're close to. For somebody your age to request a video on why men hit women when they get mad, I just hope that you're not a victim and uh, not witnessing something like this um i hope i can answer your question man as best as i can um just seeing your requests um kind of brought my excitement down a little bit because it puts a bad taste in my mouth when men hit women you know for you men out there who like to put your hand on women you scum you are scum of the earth you know, I'm going to say it. You are scum. You are the lowest of low. And that's coming from Damien Antoine Cryer. Damien Antoine Cryer said it. If you hit women, you are a piece of garbage. You know, men come from a woman. Without a woman, there, would be any, there wouldn't be a man. We come from women. You know, that woman that you put your hand on comes from another woman. You know, God put us here for a purpose and for a reason. I don't think that reason was to become your punching bags. You know, if you're doing it, you need to quit it. If you're putting your hand on a woman, you need to freaking quit it. It's bullshit. Excuse my language. It's bullshit. Don't put your hand on a woman, you insecure person. She's not your property. You don't own her, first of all. She's not your property. I don't care if you married to her or not. I don't care what she did. She's done nothing that horrible to justify a man happen to put his hands on a woman. And I'm gonna tell you why. Let me set this camera down. I'm going to tell you why men put their hand on women. 
you know, just my opinion. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. But I'm gonna give you my opinion based on experience of what I've witnessed. Men put their hand on a women because they insecure. You are insecure to put your hands on a woman. You know, if I ever in my life, you know, I lost my mom in 1997. You know, 1997. I don't have a mom anymore that's with us on this earth. She's in my heart. You know, I come from a woman. Me and my brothers and my sisters, we all come from a woman, a very beautiful, lovely woman. You know, I'm the type of person, if I ever seen a man putting his hand on a woman, and yes, I've stepped in. I've stepped in into situations that had nothing to do with me at all because I was in the store one day and seen a man haul off and smack his woman and I knocked the living crap out of him. I mean, I did. I got locked up for it. I won't lie. I won't lie. I went to jail for somebody that I don't even know because to see a guy sit there and smack the living mess out of a woman in front of her child at that is sickening and disgusting. You need to be locked up for it. Let me bring it back down. Why when men put their hand on women when they get mad? Men who do that are very insecure. They have no self-esteem about themselves. They have no morals. They have no type of respect for no one. You know, it's sad that we live in a world that we live in where people can't just walk away when they get mad. We've all done things that's put us on the other side of the law when we get mad. We've all done things that we thought was acceptable when we get mad. You know, what happens is when you get mad and you put your hand on a woman and that woman got kids, I'm going to tell you, they won't forget. They will not forget. I won't get into my personal situation right now about it, but we as men will never forget. Me and my brothers and sisters, we will never forget. It happens when you five years old, you remember it for the rest of your life. You remember the, event, the individual who did it. You know, men have this thing about control. With something like the vlog that I did earlier for the young lady, Cece. You know, where they just feel so inadequate. They feel like that, that if they can't control the situation verbally, they'll try to control the situation physically you know and you know it's a good way for people to come up missing off the earth real real fast i mean i have a sister i have one sister one sister i have five brothers one sister my sister is my only sister you know i'm gonna tell you it's you know it's like at&t the old phone company at&t i had to reach out and touch the guy Oh yeah, I reached out and touched him. I had to, I had to. I didn't care about jail, I didn't care about nothing. Because men got this thing that they think that they can just control, do what they want, run you over. Women, if you're in an abusive relationship, get out of it. Men hit women and it intimidates a woman to make a woman not want to leave the relationship. Time has proven this fact over and over and over and over and over again. If a guy is abusive to his woman, 99% of the time, they'll stay in the relationship because he's installed fear. He's inflicted fear upon her that if she leaves him, what's next to come? A lot of women stay with these men because of fear. When a man strikes a woman physically, strikes her verbally, it messes with her self-esteem. It messes with her motivation to move on and leave the relationship. Therefore, she stays. It's not love that's keeping her there. It's fear. That explains why when a man gets locked up, you hear the stories all the time. Man gets locked up for something stupid. And he's got a few months to do. That's her opportunity to escape the relationship. 
but always in the back of the mind knowing that one day that he'll get out and come after her. A lot of women who's in those relationships, you missing the beauty of life. You missing the opportunity to see what else is out there for you. Another beautiful man who would take care of you, love you, respect you, and do anything in the world it takes to keep you by his side. To show you appreciation and show you that he loves you. If you don't get out of those abusive relationships, you will never know what God had in store for you. You know, this angers me just, not you, Quan. I think it was a good question. And I did say I will vlog about questions that's asked of me. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna be taking the opportunity this month to take vlog requests on what you want me to vlog about and give you my opinion. And at the same time, while I'm giving my opinion, you would definitely get a reaction out of me. Especially when it pertains to something this serious. I want to let 90% of my YouTube channel, it's almost 30,000 subs. Thank you guys for that. Uh, I really appreciate it, man. 90% of my YouTube subscribers are women. Facts. And I appreciate it. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. You guys been there watching me go through the struggle. You know, I overcame it. Things is looking better. It's still cold as hell outside, but the sun is shining on me now. I guess the point that I'm getting to is 90% of my subscribers are women. The other 10%, I believe, is probably male. And if it is, and the males are watching this vlog, I'm going to tell you guys something out there. It's not okay to put your hand on a woman. It's not okay because God didn't make you king. He didn't make you judge and jury. You have no right to smack your woman, punch her, kick her, spit her, or degrade her, or wrong her in any way because you're not God. In the same way that you put your hands on her and judge her, one day you'll be judged. You will. You know, we all got something guaranteed that's going to happen to us. Each and every last one of us. We will be leaving here one day. That's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. That's guaranteed. We're going to leave here. And we're going to have to answer. But you guys don't have a right to put your hand on a woman. The same way a woman don't have a right to put her hand on you. If it gets that deep, shouldn't somebody call the police? Shouldn't somebody leave? Because by leaving, you can be saving somebody's life, man. If you see something going on where it's an abusive relationship... You need to tell somebody, don't hold it in. I don't care how many times he apologizes to your mom or comes in your room and apologizes to you for the way he acted. Say something, tell someone. You could be saving this person's life, man. Quan, I'm, I'm really hoping in my heart that you were just asking me a question of why men hit women when they get mad because you might've just seen something while you were out somewhere I hope that you're not having to endure or experience this or witness this firsthand. Um, you are one of my, uh, not only one of my subscribers, you are one of my Facebook friends. You can reach out to me on Messenger at any time on Facebook. That way, anything that you got to say to me is private. You know my uh, Facebook channel is Damien Cryer. My YouTube channel is Damien Cryer. Any social media that I have is Damien Cryer. Um, my Instagram is Damien Cryer Senior. A lot of people get me confused with my son, Damien Cryer Jr. Damien Cryer Senior. Reach out to me. Anyway, guys, I'm not even going to say I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I hope that you got something from it because this is not a vlog to enjoy. Until next time, I'm Damien. Leave me those comments. I love each and every one of you guys, and I'm going to talk to you later on.